Awaken from your dream. Naughty child. Nap time. Leave it to me. I... Survive or be destroyed. Boy. There is no other choice. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of you. Tiny treatment. Listen up. <laughs> Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin. the vigor of skills polished <laughs> sink into a dream leave the rest to me Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Pardon my manners. Naughty children, don't listen. You're in bad shape. Disorderly noise! <laughs> Everyone, keep up with my tempo. Awaken from your dream. I won't go easy on you. You know 
nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Oh, I get it. Now watch this. Oh, noisy. I'll take the lead. Time to show you Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card. Watch this. <laughs> Leave it to me. We will never choose. Huh. Seven thousand three hundred and thirty six notes. I solemnly invite you to join the glorious chorus and descend to the heavens. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin. Night of Solitude. Let's play our own melodies. Let the show begin. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I will show you what I can imagine. Your dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this! Yeah. We will never choose to run. Listen up! Disorderly noise! Awesome! Disorderly noise! Disorderly! Have a noble soul! Don't be shackled by the past! Disorderly noise! Time for a shot. <laughs> Keep up with me. Wake up! Need a shot! Disorderly noise! Time to show you your dragon, White Tiger, Less Card! Watch this! Disorderly noise! Disorderly yeah. noise! <laughs> <laughs> 
Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Let's begin. Even if the future is full of pain, we won't escape from it! Disorderly noise! Keep up with me. Wake up! Some hardship. Stand down. This is all green noise. Time to show you what I can afford your dragon. White Tiger, less card. Watch this! Now, time. I'll take the lead. Listen up. Let's play our own. Let the show begin. Insolent! 
from our dreams. In the first year of the AE-2158, a fiery conspiracy erupted in the land of the dreams, but soon faded in chaos and destruction. Whispers carried the tale of those fateful 48 system hours, when a sun teetered on the precipice of collapse, a paradise stood on the brink of destruction, and a world was poised to surrender to its new master. Amidst it all, a body decayed, a pack of vultures gathered, and a brother and sister were doomed for long separation. And so, an eon succumbed to slumber once more. Some celebrated this fall, while others mourned. Among the insignificant witnesses, mere specks in the vast tapestry of the universe. It was said that this time, the Eon met their demise with dignity. As the cosmos bathed in the radiance of a pure dawn, a tempestuous storm brewed on the horizon. The chant of all for the Amber Lord grew ever louder. Yet, no matter how one contemplates it, time inexorably swings Klopot's colossal hammer in eternal cycles. The tale of the Astral Express reaches both its conclusion and a new beginning. Time marches forward heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Brother, do you think the stars will fade away? Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like the bird, the torrent eagles, looks a bit dim lately. <laughs> it's the Torment Eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Peniconi and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, I think stars do die, just like people. But do you know, sister? No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. 
Even after the stars perish, their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, to illuminate the night sky of another world. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star like that, shining with the same light. Its radiance will last forever, and its name will be happiness. No, not just one star. We should have two stars, or maybe even more. Yeah, you're right. It's a deal! It's a deal, then. This is our promise, and nothing will sway our ideals. Yeah, you bet! Pleasure to hear your voice again. Congratulations. You've become the biggest winner of this festival. Are you calling just to poke fun at me? No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone into Penacony and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef, but you also managed to escape with the help of that Knight of Beauty. Remember the recording you received from your Trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. However, this came at a high cost. Losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. Just as I expected. So was Diamond planning to demote me or kick me out of the 10 stone hearts? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Well, all right. Then I'll guess. He's going to promote me to P46. All right. What will you wager? Are we talking about an actual bet here? <laughs> I don't want to wager anything just so that you can swindle it all in the end. But if it's just a friendly bet, I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life. Ma'am. Interesting. But, since it's Diamond's call, no one can predict the outcome. I'm on my way to Pentagoni. Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final showdown. Sounds like I'll be out of the action for a while. 
Finally, a chance to kick back and relax? Yeah. Leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you. As soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Huh? Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. Oh, so many surprises today. Didn't expect a galaxy ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. One who managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo, I just put him to sleep. Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Be honest now, or I won't think twice about putting a bullet in your fudging head. Tell me, where is Oswaldo Snyder? Wake up! Wake up! Hey, wake up! The sun's frying your butt! Are you okay? Can you hear me? I didn't hear a peep from your room, and it really freaked me out. What are you talking about? Are you still half asleep or something? The Order's dream is over. <sighs> Even though it's been a day, I still break into a sweat when I think about it. Our trailblazing expedition almost ended in Panacone. I'm so jealous that you got a good night's sleep. I was traumatized and too scared to even close my eyes. I thought if I fell asleep, I'd never wake up again. The Stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping. The ordinary people in Panacone have no idea what happened. They just feel like something's missing from their memories. The family's official statement was like, The Charmony Festival was attacked by an unidentified Stellaron and came to a halt. After all, they can't just reveal the truth about the Order. Now, all the major lineages, except for the Oak family, are dealing with the aftermath. The family has invited the crew to the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses for an important meeting. Everyone's waiting for you, so hurry up and pack. We're leaving as soon as you're ready.
unknown to each other, yet united in purpose, we make the same choices. Thank <laughs> you.